Hi everyone, my name is Sophia Schluger and I'm the Managing Director at Amber Group in the UK and Europe. I'm really pleased today to be speaking to you about a topic that is of great importance, I believe, to everyone, and that is on digital wealth and the evolution in value, and specifically how wealth will be rebuilt and redistributed in unprecedented ways in the digital age. Why is this an important topic? It's an important topic for many reasons. First and foremost, it's happening right now, digital migration in all of our lives and at an incredible speed. And I believe it is the most important trend in our generation. Amber Group's vision is to enable global customers with the technology and platform to build their digital wealth and capture long-term value. So to tell you a little bit more about Amber Group, we are a global fintech unicorn backed by world-class investors. Since 2017, we've been focused on delivering on our mission to create value to our global institutional and retail clients. We have over 800 fintech specialists the world over, based in Asia, Europe, North America, as well as Latin America and soon to be Africa. And this year, we reached a milestone 3 billion valuation. We started our business by servicing multinationals, billion dollar organizations, and family offices, and currently have over 1,000 institutional clients. Since inception, we've created $500 million worth of digital wealth for our users, including remitting 150 million of interest payments to them last year alone. Through Amber, our clients are buying and selling, earning yields on crypto and stable coins, and benefiting from our industry-leading structured products. We've brought in these proven assets to consumers with our app and our platform starting in 2021 and have already distributed all of that wealth to them. So from Sequoia to Tiger Global, we partner with the best of the best in the venture capital community to deliver the best products and services to our clients. Everything is migrating digitally including the financial infrastructure. And if we take a step back and think about what it means to be human an intelligent species, we are innovators at heart, adapters to our environment, and evolution is an inevitability in all aspects of our life. Gold, for example, has been a symbol of wealth and a store of value for a long time. It is being replaced now with Bitcoin. And you can imagine it's not hard to believe why. Digital native Gen Zs, are socializing on Instagram and playing online games. And so it's difficult for them to reconcile why a non-programmable, non-interoperable metal bar should be owned when a digital equivalent such as Bitcoin has the same qualities, if not better. The whole financial infrastructure is migrating and by design, it has to. It has to follow and lead because money tends to be smart. Money rewards the brave or those who take risks. And the evolution of currencies from rocks and shells to fiat to CBDCs and crypto now reflects this inevitable migration of progress that I've just described. Even financial institutions have to follow the same evolution pattern. We've gone from paper documents to banking on mobile devices. Assets evolve from physical goods to equipment, to real estate, to cars, to stocks, bonds, FX, and now to digital assets and NFTs. History has proven that if you bet against technology and progress, you are likely to lose. And so my message to you is this, digital wealth will be the most important category of wealth in the future. Why is that? Well, for one, blockchain technology and programmable smart contracts allows us to achieve something we have never achieved before. And that is essentially trust at zero cost. So whether you like it or not, we are entering the age of the digital metaverse. And those roots began 20 to 30 years ago with the advent of Web 1.0 and computing. With Web 2.0 with the internet and e-commerce, which brought benefits of new social interaction and new economic models. And since the pandemic, we've spent as much time on the internet as we have in the physical world. All of us are meeting in the digital world, and as such, our digital avatars are starting to matter. Take the Board 8 Yacht Club, for example, or Axie Infinity in the Philippines. People are playing games, being incentivized and rewarded financially. And cryptocurrencies now are already worth 
It's $3 trillion with institutions flooding into it every day. So many young people don't possess much wealth, but they are digital natives and they are spending thousands in eth ethereal money to participate in the digital economy, carving out a lifestyle and an identity. So since the arrival of crypto and digital assets, there are tons of new self-made billionaires and millionaires and NFTs, which are digital assets, can be worth tens of millions of dollars. Like Nigerian CBDCs, real estate is also becoming asset back and tokenization is being invested and developed alongside other crypto assets. So wealth, as I mentioned, is being disrupted in the old world and rebuilt in the digital metaverse. And this is the part I love about it the most, which is to me, there is a much better way to grow wealth and have a better life. In many places around the world, legacy systems are crumbling. The risk of hyperinflation due to quantitative easing is rising. And this is giving rise to asset bubbles and local currency prices. We are way too familiar with these issues. Through digital asset technology, we can create financial democratization that supports equal access, equal opportunity, and therefore self-determination. We can do this by reducing economic externalities. The result is wealth is being generated and compounded much faster in the digital world than the physical world, earning 8% digitally as opposed to 0% the old fashioned way because technology and its new socioeconomic models allow for a much better way of investing. The physical to digital world interconnectedness is already happening in many places around the world, including El Salvador, which is adopting Bitcoin, and, in, and individuals are able now to pay their electricity, their tuition, and their coffee with digital assets. Uh, we can build a better future for all, a digital metaverse where people can earn a fairer living at home, they can do so without being forced to leave their families behind and remit money back. We can also do better by protecting the environment via tokenized carbon credits, effectively outpacing existing players who are too slow to act quickly on reducing the carbon footprint, which is incredibly important for our future. 2021 was the year of the metaverse. And why am I so excited about this? Simply put, it's because it's a fairer marketplace, providing price transparency and price discovery and allowing content creators and musicians, for example, to own their own work and get paid for it without any zero value added middlemen. It is more efficient and lucrative and many companies are jumping onto the bandwagon and fast. For example, Facebook announced that they renamed their company Meta and plan to be a metaverse company within five years. Roblox listed on the New York Stock Exchange with a very large market cap of 38 billion. And NVIDIA is launching their own Omniverse metaverse platform after spending billions on R&D. So it's a very exciting future for all. What is the world going to look like in the digital era? That's the billion dollar question. To me, it's all about you. It's about you creating, you working, you saving, you investing, and you owning all digitally, fairly, and freely. And that is a virtuous cycle afforded to us in the new paradigm. With that comes freedom and choice to spend on things that matter and will always matter. Things like family, education, health, culture, entertainment, and economic opportunity. So Amber Group, with our core business lines, is a trusted partner for all your needs. At the front of our business, we specialize in trading and liquidity, offering up electronic market mating, OTC trading, execution services, for clients of all sizes and investment strategies. We also have very competitive yield products. These are lending and time deposits, as well as derivative and structured products. And finally, we have a capital division where we offer up collateralized lending, mining and staking, and investing in DeFi. What's great about our offering is that Amber has a complete product suite that's catered to all. Whether you're an advanced crypto institutional investor, requiring very sophisticated execution services, the use of hedging or margin or leverage, we can facilitate that. If you're an intermediate crypto user, you can take advantage of our different interest rate products, as well as spot and margin trading. For newer crypto users, you can access um, your wallet via the, the app on Whalefin and invest in BTC as an alternative, for example, for portfolio diversification. 
Security as, is at the core of digital assets at Amber Group. Um, we take it very seriously and reinvest a huge percent of our revenues back into security. We have MPC-based infrastructure on that respect. We also have real-time operational risk management. There are many different uh, systems in place to ensure that all of your assets are very secure on our platform. But we couldn't do all of this without our leadership team. We have a team from all over the world with extensive experience um, that combines both knowledge and understanding within finance and technology in both the traditional world and the digital asset world. So Amber Group is, is, is beyond finance, beyond just the ability to access liquidity, mitigate risk, and earn yields on our platform. We also stand for other things, such as ESG and social responsibility, and we have several initiatives on that front. We have also created a platform that allows you to build your digital wealth and also develop your digital lifestyle. Arts and culture is also important. We have uh, minted NFTs through our CreatorFi platform in association with TR Labs, and we continue to innovate on the technology side. So do good to the world while you can. We're very proud to announce that we tokenize over 2 million worth of carbon credits, and that will allow our users to protect the earth while capturing investment gains. This is in partnership with a group called Moss, and we're very excited to continue the collaboration. Amber's group's product band, Whalefin, also partnered with a nonprofit organization, the Whale and Dolphin Conservation, to adopt a whale named Salt and fund other conservation programs. Just a 1% increase in phytoplankton in the ocean is equivalent to planting 2 billion trees. So you can see how important it is for us to focus on conserving the earth and in particular the marine ecosystem that we all depend on. As mentioned, we also embrace arts and culture in the digital era. We facilitated and enabled firework artist Chai Kugong's first NFT art at TR Labs, where he sold 100 NFTs for a total of $2.5 million. We continue to innovate uh, with our Creator 5 platform and look forward to other opportunities to mint NFTs in the future. So in conclusion, I wanted to finish by saying future of wealth will be built differently. Come build it with us. Thank you.